happy Sunday getting a late start on my video today just because I had a lot going on ripping and running and research and whatnot so uh, finally got around to it um, today is my rest day I was gonna try and do some uh, riding but it just isn't working out my run um, gassed my legs out um, yesterday I didn't really get a chance to um, well, I did not get a chance to do my cardio or my uh, weight training until later in the afternoon. On Saturdays, I do six sets of deadlifts, so that's even more of a uh, juggernaut style training. Um, so I probably will just have to make sure that I rest on Sundays no matter what, like full uh, all day rest, no, you know, breaking away and doing little walks or anything like that because my legs have to recover for Monday which is another leg day where I do um, deadlifts again, front squats, hip thrusts, um, and you know, just, you know, a, a, a lot of volume on my legs. So um, what I wanna talk about for the endomorph topic for today was um, this whole idea of writing down your foods that you're, um, your, your food portions and the foods that you're eating. Now look, I know I've talked about this before, and you know, hey, <laughs> it's just the way it's gonna be. So, you know, if you don't like it, then I don't care, just be gone. But what I thought about today was this whole idea of writing down all of your foods again, because it came up in my life again, and see all these little things, you know, they're, they're, they are what gets you through your cut. Because as I keep saying, you are just zapping your willpower every day on all this different stuff. Writing food down every single day will get old. Sooner or later, you will get tired of writing stuff down because that's more energy that you have to expend to get your meals together. It already takes work to get your meal together. So do you really want to add to that work load by um, you know, writing things down every single day? No, you don't. Every single meal, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna write out your protein, carbs, fats, the weight of your food, the name of your food, every single time you eat for every single thing. No, you're not. You're not gonna do it forever. Maybe you'll do it for several days, a few weeks, you know, but sooner or later, you're gonna get tired of doing it. That is why you have to write the stuff down in the beginning and you have to find the meals that you like and you have to start portioning those out and eating those things throughout the week. You know, you could try and change it up, you know, like an icon meal style thing where, you know, you have all this stuff already made. You know, if you can afford it, you can go to icon meals and you could just pay them and they portion all your food out on the, and on the side of it, it has the macros and everything and the calories. But if you have to do that on your own, you have to become your own uh, icon meals. And the way you become your own icon meals is you prepare all your stuff, you write that crap down, and you, and you and then you portion out and you write down how how much uh, the, the macros are for each portion, and then you already have it. You don't have to write it down again. You already have it. But the tricky thing is, is you have to find those meals that are enjoyable, that you can eat, that are satiating, that you want to eat, that are satiating, and keep track of those. See, you have to do the work. And it's not gonna be easy to just find those meals. It's not that easy. You, you, you may find something that you're like, oh, I'm tired of that already. Or, you know, you, you may you know, stumble on something from a friend or something like that and wanna create your own little concoction. And then, you know, uh, once you have that put together, then maybe, you know, that works out and you start using that meal. But you still have to go through like the leg work but don't create more work for yourself than you need to. Write down the meal, collect all the macros, everything like that, 
and then have it already. Put it on sticky notes, you know. I, I don't know. Put it, you know, write it down on a calendar. I don't know. You know, I, I can't tell you what system will be the best for you. But all I can tell you is this, is counting gets old. Counting gets old. And the only way that you can make counting, you know, easy squeezy is to write everything down have it already there in front of you so you can just say you know every now and again maybe you want to pull out another meal or add something to you know the the the, the existing you know a system that you already have but for the most part you know you need to have all the foods that you are eating on a regular basis already written down and already accounted for and and you and, and and once you have that stuff written down and you're already accounted for it then you know it's gonna make things so much easier it's going to make your life like pretty much in the eating department effortless if if if, if macro counting and calorie counting is not an effortless um, feat over time you're not gonna you're not gonna stick with it it's it's just gonna to be too much. You are going to cave in, and one day you're gonna be like I've been in the past. You're just gonna be like, forget the macros. I will eyeball it. And you know what? There are some people that can eyeball and listen to their body and all that stuff. I don't think the endomorph should do that. I think endomorph should collect the data, keep track of all the data. And then just have all that data on the side, have the meals and, and the and the and all that stuff uh, um, written down. And then all you have to do is just, you know, you know, you already have to use the willpower to weigh everything out too. But you just weigh everything out. You know, you have your little sheet there that already has the stuff written down. You already know what you're eating, and you just put your little stuff together, cut, ch chop up all your little stuff, whatever it is that you're making, and then you just like make your put your meal together and eat your food but if you have to go and you have to like write everything down every single time and collect all the data and do all that stuff every single time every single day you are going to get sick and tired of macro counting and you are going to lose your mind and you're going to freak out this guy's like all in my business get a life pal happy sunday